question one, we're asked to graph the vector v, which is 5i plus 2j, and find its magnitude and direction. So if we graph this on an i and j plane, here we've got 5i, and then we're going to go up to 2j. So this is the vector v, which is 5i plus 2j. If you want to get the magnitude, we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. So the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared, and that works out as the square root of 25 plus 4, which is the square root of 29. If we want to get the direction, the tan of theta is the positive j over the positive i, and the angle theta is the angle relative to the i-axis. So for this vector, the tan of theta is going to be 2 over 5. This means theta is inverse tan of 2 fifths, and this means the angle theta is 21.8 degrees. So a positive i means east. The vector then makes an angle of 21.8 degrees towards the north because it's a positive j. So the direction is east, 21.8 degrees north. In question 2, we want to graph the vector v, which is 2i plus 5j, and find its magnitude and direction. So if we go across to 2 and then up to 5, this is the vector v, which is 2i plus 5j. If we want to get the magnitude, if we use Pythagoras' theorem, it's going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared. This works out as the square root of 4 plus 25, and this is the square root of 29. To get the angle theta, the tan of theta is the positive j over the positive i. This means the tan of theta is going to be 5 over 2, and theta then is inverse tan of 5 over 2, and the angle theta then works out as 68.2 degrees. So to get the direction, because it's a positive i, it means east. The vector then makes an angle of 68.2 degrees towards the north because it's a positive j. In part 3, if we want to graph the vector v, which is 4i minus 3j, so we go across to 4 and then down to minus 3. So v is 4i minus 3j. To get the magnitude, if we use the Pythagoras theorem, the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 4 squared plus minus 3 squared. This is the square root of 16 plus 9, which is the square root of 25, and this works out as 5. To get the angle theta, we're going to use the tan of theta is the positive j over the positive i. So this means the tan of theta is going to be 3 quarters, and theta then is inverse tan of 3 quarters. And using your calculator, the angle theta then works out as 36.8387 degrees. Now the i component is positive, so that means the vector moves east. It then makes an angle of 36.87 degrees towards the south because it's a negative j. So we've east 36.87 degrees towards the south. In part 4, if we want to graph the vector minus 5i minus 12j. So we move to the left, minus 5, and then down to minus 12. To find the magnitude, again if we use Pythagoras' theorem, so the magnitude of vector v is going to be the square root of minus 5 squared plus minus 12 squared. This works out as the square root of 25 plus 144, and this works out then as the square root of 169, which is 13. If we want to get the angle theta, the tan of theta then is the positive j over the positive i. So here, the tan of theta is going to be 12 over 5, and theta then is inverse tan of 12 over 5. This means the angle theta then, using a the calculator, is 67.38 degrees. And then the, to get the direction, a negative i means west, and then the angle is 67.38 degrees towards the south because it's a negative j. In part 6, if we want to graph the vector v, which is i plus j, so we move across to 1i and then up to 1j. There is a 1 in front of the i and there is a 1 in front of the j. So if we use Pythagoras' theorem, the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared. So the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 2. To get the angle theta, the tan of theta is the positive j over the positive i. So the tan of theta will be 1 over 1, which means the angle theta is 45 degrees. A positive i means east, a positive j means north, so the angle is northeast. Part 7, the vector v is a half i minus a half j. If we want to find the magnitude and the direction, 
So first of all, if we graph the vector, we go across to plus a half and then down to minus a half j. Now, using Pythagoras' theorem, the magnitude of v is the square root of a half squared plus a half squared. This works out as the square root of a quarter plus a quarter, which is the square root of a half. And this works out then as root 2 over 2 using the calculator. To get the angle theta, the tan of theta is the positive j over the positive i. So here the tan of theta will be a half over a half, which is 1. And this means theta is inverse tan of 1, which is 45 degrees. A positive i means east, a negative j means south. So the direction here would be southeast. In part 7, if we've got 3 fifths of i minus 4 fifths of j, so this means we move across to 3 fifths and then 4 fifths. And if we use Pythagoras' theorem to get the magnitude, the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 3 fifths plus minus 4 fifths squared. And this works out as the square root of 9 over 25 plus 16 over 25, which works out as 25 over 25, which is 1. To get the angle theta, the tan of theta is the positive j over the positive i. So the tan of theta is going to be 4 fifths over 3 fifths. The 5s cancel, and then theta is going to be inverse tan of 4 over 3. And this means the angle theta then works out as 53.13 degrees. The positive i means east. The negative j means south. So the direction is going to be east, 53.13 degrees towards the south. Nine. If we want to graph the vector v, which is minus root 3i plus 1j, so if we move to the left, root 3 units, and then up 1, this is the vector v, which is minus root 3i plus, and there is a 1 in front of the j. If we use Pythagoras' theorem, the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of minus 3 to be squared plus 1 squared. This works out as root 3 plus 1, which is root 4, and that means the magnitude is 2. Get the angle theta, the tan of theta is the positive j over the positive i. So the tan of theta is root 3, a 1 over root 3. And this means theta is inverse tan of 1 over root 3. And the angle theta then is 30 degrees. And then the direction, um, a negative i means west, a positive j means north. So the direction is west, 30 degrees towards the north. Part 10, if we've got a 3i plus a root 3j, we move across 3 and up root 3. So if we use Pythagoras' theorem, the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus root 3 squared. This works out as 9 plus 3, which is 12. So the magnitude of v is root 12, and that does simplify to 2 root 3. To get the angle theta, the tan of theta then is the positive j over the positive i. This will be root 3 over 3. And this means then theta is inverse tan of root 3 over 3. And this means the angle theta then works out as 30 degrees. Positive i means east. The angle is 30 degrees then um, towards the north because it's a positive j.